ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I be gonna be when I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring when I'm knocking them out when I'm back with the real. Cause I am just on the journey. You just know that I'm just going insane. Warriors, rise. Ripple to be a cryptocurrency bank and the FDIC cracking down on cryptocurrency exchanges. We're going to take a deep dive. What you're going to learn in today's video is why I think Ripple is going to become a cryptocurrency bank and how the banking system is now going to work and how all your cryptocurrency eventually is going to run through the Federal Reserve. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, crypto business coach in the world. Do you believe in your heart? you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. I'm just documenting my journey into the quantum financial system. If you'd like to see my journey and my team members' journeys, access to our portfolios, access strategy, and a community of people rising up together to learn together. Join the Private Warrior Academy by clicking the description down below. We're going to dive right into this. I got a kind of a funny story, Warriors, is I just recorded this whole video and I did not hit record. So this is take number two. When you're faced with adversity, smile, take a deep breath, and get your shit together and get back in the game. All right, so we're going to dive right into this. So this is the Federal Reserve's opening up pathways for cryptocurrency banks to have a master account. I'm going to break down very quickly and efficiently because now I'm in a time crunch due to the fact the video didn't record quickly and efficiently how this new quantum financial system is going to work and how basically the Federal Reserve is going to squeeze off these exchanges in order to get them to run everything through the Fed's and the global banking system. State of Crypto is presented by Tron, connecting the world to the power of cryptocurrency. All right, time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who's also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto Newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So the US Fed is opening up a pathway for crypto banks to tap cent the central banking system. What's going on? <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. So yesterday, the Federal Reserve published its final guidelines for basically explaining how banks and novel non-bank entities with financial charters could get access to the you know, master accounts and to the global payment system. And this is important because a lot of crypto companies are currently, or some crypto companies are currently trying to become you know, basically full-fledged banks. Uh, if they are able to get master accounts, they're able to provide the same kinds of banking services that, you know, for example, Silvergate or Signature currently provide, and it will give them the opportunity to bypass, you know, these intermediaries. They don't have to find banking services of their own. They can be banks for other crypto companies. Boom. Okay. Very, very, very important to listen to what he just said. Very, very, very important. Okay. Let's break that down. Let's unpack that. So the Federal Reserve created a master account. The master account allows these cryptocurrency exchanges to get on board with regulation to become cryptocurrency banks, to be able to hold your fiat currency and your cryptocurrency. And they have to have a master account that will put them under regulation. Why would the Federal Reserve do that? Excuse me. Why would the Federal Reserve do that? Because they want all the money running through the system. They want all your money, honey. They want all of it because these cryptocurrency banks. So here's what's going to happen. Wells Fargo, Chase, Bank of America, the biggest banks in the world are going to have their own cryptocurrency custody. Here's what it's going to look like. Bank of America will have your cryptocurrency custody and you'll have your fiat currency, right? They'll be attached to the Federal Reserve as they are now, okay? The cryptocurrency exchanges that get up with regulation, have the right legal teams and have the right capital to be able to do this are going to have a master account with the Federal Reserve. If they don't, they're going to get squashed by regulation. And how are they going to do this? They're going to squeeze the on ramps and off ramps and make sure that these cryptocurrency exchanges cannot survive. And they're going to smash them with the FDIC. They're going to smash them with the SEC, the CFTC, every single regulation uh, 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 avenue they can use. They will smash these people. They will sue them and they will shut them down. That's why most cryptocurrencies are not going to survive. They're going to get smashed by regulation and the exchanges that have the well-run teams, that have the capital, that have the law teams and are able to have connections behind the scenes are going to survive. I'm telling you, that's the game. I didn't create the game. That's how it's going to go. That's why Ripple, this is old news, but that's why Ripple registered in Wyoming 
in 2020 for an LLC. Ripple registered in Wyoming for an LLC in 2020. The reason why is I guarantee they are going to become a bank, just like Kraken did. Kraken was the first, okay, where, uh, was one of the first bank charters approved, right? Kraken wins bank charter approval. This was a while back. We are thrilled to announce that the state of Wyoming has approved Kraken's application to form its world's first special purpose depository institution, SBDI. You're going to see this with many cryptocurrency companies. Ripple, I guarantee, is going to do it. Kraken is now a bank. These exchanges are going to become banks and they're going to have a master account with the Federal Reserve. And if they don't, they're not going to survive. These exchanges will get squeezed off and they'll shut down the on and off ramps for you as a cryptocurrency holder. I know cryptocurrencies are great for sovereignty, but do you really think the Federal Reserve? Do you really think the Federal Reserve, one of the most powerful institutions in the world? BlackRock, one of the most powerful institutions in the world that is connected Federal Reserve tapped BlackRock to balance out our systems. BlackRock has more assets under management than most GDPs, countries' GDPs. Do you really think that they're going to let us run off into the sunset with our cryptocurrency being sovereign individuals? Absolutely not. Whoever owns the money, controls the information, controls the people. If you know the game, you can't be played. Okay, You're not going to beat the system, warriors. The only way to beat the system is to become the wealthiest person in the world and change the system. Okay, So let's dive into this, and I'm going to show you where the FDIC. Everybody's getting involved now. The FDIC is going after cryptocurrency exchanges for false information. Oh, craze that's leading lots of people to jump on the bandwagon, but the government is making sure you know the risks. ABC's Deirdre Bolton is here now with more on how the FD FDIC is taking action. Good morning, it sure is. Good morning, Janae. So on Friday, the FDIC issued a letter to five crypto companies demanding that they stop making false claims about deposit insurance. So there is that list of five, of course, and the FDIC saying it issued a cease and desist letter saying the companies are making misleading statements about whether crypto assets have federal deposit insurance support. So by law, FDIC only insures banking deposits such as cash, can't get safer than that, cash equivalents, and those held in checking savings and money market accounts with FDIC insured banks. So the list of what it doesn't include, well, bonds, stocks, mutual funds, commodities, or crypto assets. And of course, that is really the key here. Now, the head of one company, FTXUS, he tweeted out, we really didn't mean to mislead anyone. We didn't suggest that the company has this kind of crypto or non-fiat assets that benefit from FDIC insurance. By the way, interest in crypto continues to grow despite recent losses, big sell-offs. In fact, according to bankrate.com, nearly 60 million Americans own some form of cryptocurrency last year and despite the losses people are still very interested with boom okay very important to understand what's happening so what's going to happen is they're going to bring certain cryptocurrencies into the custody of banks bank of america wells fargo we know bank of america is with ripple wells fargo is with r3 jp morgan is consensus and ethereum and also has their jpm coin so what's going to happen is basically they're going to pull them up underneath the umbrella of the federal reserve and eventually there'll be certain cryptocurrencies or certain assets will be under your cash will be protected by the fdic right right? Your cryptocurrency will be underneath and custody there, right? It'll be custody. They'll keep it safe for you. It's kind of like having a safety deposit box if you think of it that way, right? But you can go to a customer service department if something happens. Here's how they're going to choke us. They're going to bring everything up underneath the Federal Reserve. So your local bank is going to be the same as Coinbase Bank, as Kraken Bank, as Ripple Bank. You're just going to see brand new banking systems be created or brand new charters, thrifts, or banks now. They're going to be cryptocurrency banks that are going to become like a Wells Fargo, uh, uh, Bank of America. And you may start to see these large companies buying up smaller companies. You may see a massive monopoly of these larger companies buying up these cryptocurrency banks. Ripple is in the business of buying businesses, Okay got to pay attention to what they're doing worse we're not going to beat them we need to understand what they're doing so we can get on the other side there's going to be very very wealthy and very very poor the middle class is going to get wiped out everything is going to run through the federal reserve so crypto firm fx gets warned from fdic to stop misleading consumers about deposit protection so there's going to be just tons of pressure from the fdic the sec the CFTC. So they're going to work to strangle these exchanges and those who have the best leadership team, legal teams, and who are connected behind the scenes, Ripple being connected to World Economic Forum, whether you like it or not, they're on the board of World Economic Forum. BlackRock connected to Coinbase. Larry Fink is on the board of trustees 
for the World Economic Forum, which the Board of Trustees definition is to move the mission and purpose of the World Economic Forum. And he is connected to Coinbase now. Think about that. Okay. I wanted to show you this letter really quickly. Uh, the re this is the FDIC letter that was sent out to these five exchanges. FTX is on here. That's one of the big ones. But I wanted to clarify something. A lot of people thinking it's crypto.com. Just want to make sure you understand this. It is not crypto.com. It says this person made a website called FDIC crypto.com. And if you click on it, it's this gentleman here, this Corey Harris person. So it's not crypto.com. A lot of people have been asking, does crypto.com? No, it's this guy right here who used the FDIC in front of crypto.com. So I just want to be clear with that. So you can see that by pulling up the letter, you can see the five exchanges. They're just putting pressure on them. It's game time. Basically, your local bank is going to be custing your cryptocurrency. Um, Australia to use token mapping as framework for crypto regulation. I'm going to be diving into that today to give you a little more clarity on that. And that will be the topic for tomorrow. So if you want to join our private warrior Academy, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. We're just documenting our journey into the quantum financial system. We show you our exact portfolio, my exact portfolio. No, just here it is. Here's what I do. Exit strategy, seven calls per week. One of the best communities in the world. And we're all rising together to be better fathers, better partners, better husbands, better moms, better stewards of society. Just being good people. A warrior to us is being kind, caring, loving, compassionate, but at any point can activate to protect their family, what they love. And a warrior is not a man nor a woman. It's a spirit that we all embody inside of us. We love you. We appreciate you. We always say, warriors, ah, let's get your shit together.